Trees, fruit, water, what does it all have to do with the Holy Spirit? Let's talk about that. Hi, my name is Math Marku from Pure Witness Ministries. Now, just before Jesus ascended to the Father, he told his disciples, you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, and all Judea, and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. Well, here we are, Christians, 2,000 years later, and we are still the recipients of this promise. Let, let, let me explain. The Holy Spirit has been poured out in us through our baptism, and we are still 2,000 years later, called to be his witnesses to the ends of the earth. Now, the Lord wants to renew the face of the earth through us, we who are the body of Christ, we who are filled with his Holy Spirit. And it was through the power of the Holy Spirit that the apostles were able to step out of hiding from the upper room and renew the earth by bringing the message of Christ's love to a world that didn't know him. And through this courageous spirit, they changed the world. Today, we need this same power to bring Christ to a world that, for the most part, once knew Jesus Christ, but now has rejected him. You don't have to look far to realize that the earth needs to be renewed now more than ever. And he wants to. The Lord wants to. He wants to renew the earth through the power of his Holy Spirit, which can make us his courageous witnesses once again to bring his love to the ends of the world. So, are we up to the task? Are we prepared to be the kind of witnesses that will actually lead others away from the distractions of the sin of this world to the unfailing love of Jesus? Are we able to be his light in this present darkness? Well, I guess that depends on what kind of tree we have become as Christians in the 21st century. You see, Jesus said in <clears throat> Matthew's Gospel, <laughs> the tree is known by its fruit. So if we want to know what kind of tree we are, we need to look at our fruit we are producing in our lives. And if it isn't consistent with the fruit of the Spirit, then we need to start praying for the Holy Spirit to be stirred up within us so that we start bearing the right kind of fruit. So just what is the fruit of the Spirit? That's a great question. Well, St. Paul tells us in the letter to the Galatians, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. That's it. <laughs> now, that's our checklist. That's, that's our report card, you might say. Now, question, what grade do you suppose we've earned? We need to take some time with this question and ask ourselves honestly, how am I doing? Are these the fruits that others see in my life when they look at me? And if not, well then, we need to check and just see where we have allowed the tree of our life to be planted. You see, in Jeremiah, we read that for those who trust in the Lord, they shall be like a tree planted by water, sending out its roots by the stream. It shall not fear when heat comes, and its leaves shall stay green. And the year of drought, it is not anxious, and it does not cease to bear fruit. If we want to bear the fruit of the Spirit, namely love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control, then it might mean we need to uproot our lives that have become planted too firmly in the soil of the world around us and transplant ourselves by the stream of living water. Now, we need the help of the Holy Spirit to make whatever changes are necessary in our lives. But once we have sunk our roots into the stream of living waters of the life of Christ that come to us through the church and her sacraments and through the living word of God and scripture, then we will begin to bear fruit as we were intended to bear. And then we too, like the first Christians, can be fearless to withstand the heat of confrontation by a world that rejects the gospel and our leaves will stay green even during the drought of hard times that come into our lives. And we will not be anxious, but we will trust in God. And through the power 
of the Holy Spirit, we will not cease to bear fruit, and we will be his witnesses to the ends of the earth. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. Amen. I'm Matthew Marcoux, and from all of us here at Pure Witness Ministries, God bless.